Oh yeah, here it is. 2019.8.5. So we got the peak power increase. My car is now faster thanks to an over the air update. That is amazing. Also got auto steer stoplight warning. So if you're on autopilot and you're coming towards a red light, the car should warn you. I've heard this doesn't work great, but I'll try to safely test it out. And then a big update to navigate on autopilot. You can now change lanes without confirming. So the car should pass slower cars and change lanes into like your exit lane um, and everything before your exit comes up without you interacting. But you do need to keep your hands on the wheel. So let's try it all out. So let's take a look at the new Navigate on Autopilot settings. Uh, you first go to your little car here, uh, and then you go to Autopilot. And if you look here, Customize Navigate on Autopilot. These are new settings here. These are new to 8.5. Enable at the start of every trip. I said yes, because I do anyway. Um, this is the only setting that was there before. Speed-based lane changes. I find, for me, average works best. Mad Max, it changes lanes a little too often. Um, require lane change confirmation. Uh, that's that's the biggest new part here. Uh, no. So, default, it's yes. So, you have to... It'll say you're going to change lanes. You hit the stock, and it'll do it. But if you have no, it'll just change lanes as long as your hands are on the wheel. And then down here, this will kind of warn you that it's going to change lanes. Um, you can have it chime, vibrate the steering wheel, or do both. Chime works great. It just does a little ding. I kind of peek over. I see what it's planning to do on the screen, and uh, it'll do its thing. This road, the speed limit is 55, but everybody goes about 60 or 70, so we're going to try out the peak power here. Unfortunately, the audio was pretty bad uh, from the rest of these clips from this camera, so I'm going to narrate over some of it. Here, I'm testing out the peak power. Um, I, I could kind of feel the difference, but I'll put a link in the description from a post on Reddit that has actual numbers, um, and it basically turns out you get more power over about 40 miles per hour. Okay, so we're getting on the highway here. I'm going to check out confirmation free navigate on autopilot so let's see how it merges so it says changing lane to follow route it gave me a little beep and it did that it turned the turn signal on I did not do that wow wow that is awesome look at that Oh my gosh, that was seamless. That worked so well, I cannot believe it. So now I'm interested if it, once it passes this car up here, I assume it's going to get out of the passing lane. Oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> I'm still surprised that just worked so well. That lane change was so like natural. All right, let's see. Changing out of passing lane gives me a little beep. Turns the turn signal on. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm blown away. Wow. Oh, that is so fun. <laughs> so I did save some clips from the car's built-in dash cam so you could see how far ahead I got before like the lane change was made or when a car was coming up on me in a lane that I wanted to change into. You could see how careful my car was. Um, so to get those different perspectives, you'll see those clips. Okay, so we're about to pass the truck. Uh, I don't know if this guy is going fast enough. Oh, looks like he's going too slow for us. All right, so we're passing him. I'm not gonna put pressure on the wheel. My hand is still near it, but when it goes to change lanes, I think it's gonna ask me to put my hand on the wheel. Changing lanes out of passing lane. Okay, yeah, and it wants, wow, that's a new animation. That was cool. Oh, I should have let that go for a second. It kind of is waving side to side, kind of showing me, you know, I see your hand's not on the wheel. I'm not making this lane change until you are ready to take over. So that's pretty cool. So here's one issue with my route that doesn't seem to be fixed. Um, you can see up ahead that looks like a, well, it's a solid yellow line, but 
the green arrow to your left is showing that that lane is actually open. It's called a flex lane and autopilot can't use it. Um, I, of course, can manually change over to that lane, um, but autopilot will not cross that solid line, even though right now it is legal to do so. So it's not really a passing lane, but autopilot thinks it is. So my hand is not on the wheel. That's the new animation. That's cool. So now if I just touch the wheel, boom, it's gonna move over. Perfect. Wow, in the last update, 515, I had a few times where it was hesitant on the lane changes. It would start to change lanes and then go back. Um, but it hasn't done that once here, which is great. Uh, that was a worry, is it's gonna wanna do it itself and not do it, but it's doing great. So it'll be interesting to see coming up, my exit is actually on the left, uh, and it turns into four lanes. So if we stayed in this lane, I would be going on to another highway that I don't wanna go on to. So we'll see how it handles that. Automatically, there's a car coming up on my left, and it sees it. Wow, it saw it way back there. So there's the car. Oh, and it changed lanes out of my way. And here we go. I'll definitely add the uh, repeater on that one because that car was really far away. Uh, and the car, the Tesla definitely saw the, the car. All right, so the lanes have opened up. We got this big truck here. Let's see if we can pass. And here we go, we're speeding up. Great. There's a car coming up behind me, but plenty of room. I mean, I would have done the exact same lane change. I mean, this is crazy. The car really is driving itself right now. I, that's how I feel. My hand is on the wheel, and my hand has to be on the wheel, or it won't make these maneuvers. But, wow, look how far ahead it's seeing all those cars. Um, wow, you can see really far, really far up there. Uh, I don't know if that's new or what, but I don't remember it seeing that far especially around a bend. But anyway, uh, the, the car's doing all of this. I haven't made a single lane change on my way to work on the highway this morning. Uh, and so, like I said, my hand's on the wheel. It has to be. Uh, the car won't do its thing without my hand being on the wheel, but it's doing it all, and it's doing really well. Uh, so coming up here in about a mile or so, I have to get all the way to the right. So let's see how the car handles that. everybody I know it's gonna to want to change lanes it's good it's a little delayed it could uh, do that a little faster I, I think what it's doing is it's popping the message up for me so that I know it's gonna do that then it turns the turn signal on for a second to let everyone around me know I'm gonna do that and then it, it makes the lane change I would be okay with my little personal warning being shorter so that it would just hurry up and get out of the way especially when it's in the passing lane not too big of a deal. We're going to speed up here. Everybody's going pretty fast. But so, yeah, we have uh, still one more lane change to make. I'm curious how it's going to handle this. If it's going to pass my exit, we're passing my exit. I'm not uh, going to intervene. So if I was driving, I would have already gotten over. Uh, maybe I'd pass this semi, but I'd get over right behind this uh, van right here. That's for sure, because we're getting pretty close. I don't know how it's going to pull this off. I think we're missing our exit today. Okay, now it wants to get over. My hand is on the wheel, and it's going to slow down and get behind this van. Okay. Well, let's do it. What are you waiting for? Okay, that worked fine. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. I mean, again, I would have gotten over a little earlier, but no problem, and here's the exit. We're off the highway. Unbelievable. Every lane change was done by Navigate on Autopilot. That is just fantastic. Let's see if we can get a red light warning here. Nope, nothing. That's not good. So I would have gotten over already, definitely. So I don't know what the car is waiting for, but I'm going to let it figure it out. 
was actually a huge waste of time. I'm going to turn on my turn signal and see if the car will get over. Wow, holy crap, that was kind of aggressive. This guy doesn't see me. I did not want to risk that. Hmm. I'm, the car got over. That, that was definitely different. So again, we have a lot going on up here. We have an exit to the right, an exit to the left. I personally would be in the left lane. This is not where I would sit. I'm just gonna tell the car to change lanes. Oh man, and it gets over wonderfully. Okay, so that's something I'm noticing. The initiated lane changes, okay, it wants to go back. I'm not sure why, but that's fine, go ahead. Um, the initiated lane changes are much better. You know, before you change lanes and blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna change back. Wow, okay, that's good. So before you'd hit the stock and it would take this thing forever to get over. Um, I'm not gonna let it move back. I wanna stay here, let these people merge. Uh, okay, so that's good, it's, it's not doing that. I don't know if it sees them or, or how it's deciding that. But, so anyway, before you would initiate a lane change with the stock, the turn signal would be on, the car would think, it would then, you know, signal up here that it's gonna move over, uh, and then it would slowly move over. Now, okay, I, I need to do a few more initiated lane changes because those were really good. Much more human-like. All right, so I'm gonna initiate a lane change. There we go, I did that. Instantly, the car's getting over. That is a huge improvement. All right, so we're at the end of our journey. Let's see how it does exiting. It's never had a problem here, even in the previous versions. It's done well exiting. All right, very good. Um, it does have trouble up here, though, where the lane splits. So, but that's not nav on autopilot, I'm not sure. Let's see if it behaves differently. going a little slow. I'm hitting the gas. Okay, or the go pedal. Okay, this, wow, a lot better. Much better. Before, it would dart back and forth trying to pick a lane. It didn't know what to do, so that was perfect. I don't know if it'll do that every time, but at least on this run, um, it did that really well. We can see if it'll make this turn here. It, look, see those lane lines, see how far those are going? That was not there before. It would just have a little curve, maybe to here. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I'm ready to take over. It probably can't do this, but let's see. We'll give it a try. Oh my gosh, it's really turning the steering wheel. No, it was not gonna do that. Another quick note, the backup camera does not seem to go to a black screen when you go in reverse anymore. So luckily that seems to be fixed. That was really annoying. All right, so to sum it up, of course, the biggest thing in this update is the navigate on autopilot without confirming lane changes. It worked great. I think I had to cancel one lane change. Uh, the update is awesome. And, and my favorite thing is, is that, that's awesome. But also when I initiate a lane change, it works so much better. It's unbelievable. I'll be using that a lot more. Uh, so this has been a great update so far. I haven't had any bugs. Uh, if you have any more questions about the update, just leave them below and I'll get back to you. See you in the next one.